What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, I got, we literally just pulled up in the van. I'm just going to go and see how much parking is. You can see where we are today. We're in Brighton. We are place fishing. Please use the pay by phone parking app. What an absolute tosser. This machine is not in use. Well, how much is it then? Probably fortunes. Oh, I'll have to find out in a minute. Um, conditions couldn't be any more perfect today. I'm with Steve the Maddy Man. Regan's turning up in a little while when he's finished work. Oh, what was, a, oh, what was about three o'clock? It's a hobo. It probably looks like a hobo. It fit right in down here. Um, I don't look much better. Look, with holy trousers. Um, conditions couldn't be any more perfect today. Don't get me wrong, I'd like it to be another 10 degrees warmer, but you know, we can't have it all. Can we, Steve? No, it is what it is. Um, that's the way to open that, because the button's missing. It's just Bang, a hole. Man. It is pretty cleanish, yeah. actually, in there today. All my rods are still up there, but they've been a week. Um, so, yeah, place fishing today. Um, weather's amazing. I've got nice new fresh rigs from Gavman at Gavman Shore Rigs, so thank you to him. There's, um, there's our lift to the mark, just going past. Honestly, conditions couldn't be any better. I'll tell you what, if we don't catch a place today, it's nice sunshine. The water should be crystal clear today because we've had the winds are perfect. They're turning and going, to, going southerly today, but only like six or seven mile an hour. Um, there's already been quite a few places caught from the beach down here today. Uh, not today, but look, for over the last few days, I've, I've, I've been itching to get down here all weekend. But it, it's just, there was no point in me coming down, wasting money just to come fishing without earning my diesel money back because that's what I'll be doing this evening. Going to sort out a lot of, trying to go and sort out scrap from places that saved the scrap for me while I'm down here. So yeah, anyway, I've got to get all my gear out and get all my nice warm clothes on and um, we will see you with a fish on the beach. <laughs> And we are fishing, both rods out. Fixed ball rod and the multiplier rod. Identical rigs on both. The only thing that's different is the fixed ball rod on the bottom hook. I've got a ragworm. Um, and, and on all three of the other hooks, I've got two hooks on both rods. I've got rag, black lug, and then this one's got double black lug. Um, this one I was fishing with the other week. And I... Where was we? I think Eastbourne I was using that reel, that rod and reel, and uh, I got a load of, a, it was a load of weed on the last cast. So as I was reeling in, I wasn't, I wasn't really concentrating on levelling the line properly, so it was a nice big bunch. Well, I've just cast it out here, and the inevitable happened, it blew up. So that one's a bit shorter. It still went out a, a far enough distance, but it's not as far as I want it. I think this early in the year, on these place, casting really does help. Um, and again, I am no expert caster. I can hold my own. But I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm no expert. Um, I can. I can put a lead where I need it to be most of the time. Um, but yeah, today on a day like today, you really could. The, the distance really, really does help. Low tide helps because you're from here to the actual water's edge. Walking wise, it's probably another 60 yards. So you walk in 60 yards. You're already getting an extra 60 yards on the distance. The only problem with it being low water is the water's still a bit dirty. Where it's obviously a lot lower to the to the dirty seabed. There is hardly any movement there, but the little bit of movement there is there is enough to just kick up the sediment and just not clear it out as much as we want. But I would imagine by the time it gets to just in front of these little sandy patches here, which is probably a, probably a good 25, 30 yards, it would have cleared out quite a bit until it hits the sand and then just that first first layer will, um, will dirty up again, I would imagine, until it comes up and over again. Um, conditions couldn't be any more perfect honestly it's like well it was that cold last night i put my bait in my van last night and my rag room had frost on it it wasn't dead not quite but bear in mind it's now two weeks old um it's still slightly moving but it had frost on it so in the van froze we've driven all the way down to brighton this morning everywhere's frost everywhere i'm sitting on the beach now and just to jump up and i'm actually hot that sun is beating right in here and that is one of the things i've messed up on already in this video i've faced myself into the sun Whereas Steve has been, Steve's faced himself the other way and not been a tit. But it is what it is. I'm staying in now. I'm set up. And I, it's nice to have a bit of sun on my face. Um, I'm going to take my off as well, get a bit of sun on my head. Maybe it might make my hair keep growing. And I've got a bite already, unless someone's just walked into my line. Or was it that bird? It could have been that seagull. Oh. Oh, honestly, guys, I haven't... What are you doing? Go away. I haven't genuinely I haven't been this excited about fishing in a long time I actually could not wait to get a rig on and put it in the water today so what I've also done is um, both my both my main lines have got clips on the end so I'm going to sit here and do it in a minute let's get another rig out from Gavin it's my little pack I got from Gavin so he sent me some uh, 
he sent me my loop rigs. Oh, I've got some actually. Shout out to Gavin because he sent me some box stick. Give me some box because I've already got a couple, so I'm going to give these to Steve. Um, and I've got some of his. Um, now this was a company from a while ago. This Moon Glow, um, and I think I don't think they. I don't think they. I don't think they do anything anymore. Um, I'm sh yeah, I don't. Gavin, I'm sure Gavin bought all their last stock. So I've also got some nice attractors. At the minute, I'm trying. I've got them. And I've got them. I've got them, I've got them, then I've got them. At the minute, I haven't put any beads or nothing on. All I've got on the rigs is just a, a sequin as a, to use as a bait stop, um, which is tied, which is held down with a lovely stop knot. Honestly, the rigs that Gavin makes, they're... Uh, I've got to get one out, because I can't thank him enough, honestly. For, oh, that's an empty one. If, you, um, if you're lazy like me and don't like tying your own rigs, or can't tie your own rig, because some people can't, I would always say I would always suggest to people you should learn, but they are absolute quality hand tie rigs. They really are. Um, just the attention to detail, like tying the stop knots. I don't know. Hang on, let's put it on there. You see that stop knot there in the sequin? Tying the stop knots instead of just using a bead, what's quicker and easier. It, it takes that extra little bit of time. Um, and I know there's loads of people that sell rigs and stuff, but I've used these now since I caught my skate. That'd be two. That's two years next month. I caught that. And I've used having drinks ever since. Obviously, I've used some of my own every now and again that I've already had made up, or like the last day, the other day, I couldn't get to Gavin because he lived far enough away from me that it was just it wasn't worth me going. I bought some cheapies from the shop, um, but for an extra few pence, because Gavin's rigs are not expensive either. For an extra few pence, I would much rather have that hand-tied quality over mass-produced Chinese stuff, you know. Um, and today, there's a chance. There's a chance of my PB place. I, I don't know what my PB is. I think it's 43. But my, again, I've been after that 50 for a long, long time. And today's the day. I can feel it in my balls. Anyway, in a bit. Well, people, first fish isn't target. But what a lovely flounder that is. Look at that go, look. Took the ragworm on the bottom hook. No bling. That's lovely. Alright, I'm gonna get it unhooked and get it back. Steve's gonna get some pictures first. In a bit. The boy's done it. Alright, he's using three rods. But who cares? That is why we are here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So that's exactly right. Yeah. Is a good one ready, Steve? Yeah, yeah. So Steve's literally just unhooked this rig. And uh two seconds because the phone's ringing. And uh this one will just lie down here for a second. Just while he clips the other one on. <sighs> Lovely. Look at that. Them beautiful, beautiful orange spots. Stunning little fish. Absolutely stunning. Well done, Stephen. Well, I'm going to get this one and look for him while he's sorting out his wads. We'll bring you back, hopefully, to a bigger one. Well, guys, things are very quiet. First cast flounder. Steve had that place about an hour ago. Um, we're not we're not our water yet. We've still got a couple of hours, I think. Hang on, how long we got? Ten to two. We got just we got an hour till our water. We're going to fish at about our four. Um, but yeah, it's not amazing. It's not amazing. Regan's here now as well. He's over there. Um, yeah, we're doing everything we can. Weather's good. The water could be a bit clearer. It, it didn't clear out as much as I'd hoped. It has cleared out a lot as the tide's raised, but it's not cleared out as much as I'd liked. Um, and again, it is still January. People have had place here already. Um, no excuses, but I've got a feeling that my casting just isn't good enough. Well, our casting just isn't good enough. Um, in the nicest possible way, Steve definitely isn't, and he will happily tell you that. Even though I can cast a little bit further than Steve. Um, I'm not sure what Regan's casting's like. It's only, it's only the second time I've ever fished with Regan, properly. Um, and last time we were underarm flicking it for flounders. Oh, he's banging the lead. He's doing all right. Oh, yeah, now Regan, I would have thought was casting far enough. If there's, um, if there's any here, we'll find them, hopefully. And there's a couple of other lads here, YouTubers, um, fishing with Matt UK. He come down and said hello earlier, and um, South Coast Dangler. 
they're fishing a bit closer to the banjo uh, up there. Be interesting to find out how they get on later. They see my van come down and said hello, so it's nice to meet them. Um, if you haven't seen their channel, check them out. Um, yeah, other than that, what a lovely day in the sun. Like, it's, it's so warm. It's getting cooler now, I won't lie. It is getting cooler, but I'm still not cold by any means. I'm still warm, you know, it's lovely. All the swimmers have gone, thank God. They didn't come any closer to us. But we have had one, so all right, it wasn't the biggest, and I didn't catch it, I know, but I've, uh, as much as I'd love to catch a place today, I, uh, I'm happy that Steve's caught one. I am more than happy that Steve's caught one, so it is what it is. Um, hello. Plus. Hello. Finally, we are on last knockings. Tide's on its way out. We've got a bit of tide run. The lads, the other YouTube lads are up there. They had one earlier at 40 centimetres. Steve's just messaged, me messaged? Messaged. Measured, measured this one off of his box and it went 43, it was bigger than his box, so 43. I mean, yeah, it's, look, me out, I can't even stretch my hand. It's a good fish. <laughs> it's a lovely fish. It's not, it's not much meat on it, don't get me wrong, but I will take that <laughs> in the first place of the year. Hell yeah. And it was on the rig with uh, Gavman's beads on. So, oh, it's Gavman's rigs, but white lead rolling around. Um, I am buzzing. Pretty, pretty happy with that one, boys <laughs> pretty happy and you know, well, look, welcome to the new year race look, it won't even it won't even <laughs> really hooked like it won't it won't taken down um yeah i'm well happy with that well we're gonna get some pictures now and uh we'll bring it back in a bit well it's all happening now boys and girls it's all happening now regan's got one um obviously not as big as mine but you know 43 that went well steve said it hung off his box oh, i told you that didn't i have you? Is that another bite? Oh. Another place. Well done, Regan. Frozen squid. Frozen blacks, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, I'm over the moon with that. 43 on the first proper play session of the year. That's a good fish. Over the moon. And there we have it, boy, Bill. Another absolutely stunning place. Not as big as the last one, but still a decent sizable fish. Steve, you couldn't just pop that hook out for you. It's for us, could you? It's only lightly hooked. That was on the uh, black lug and a couple of fresh crab legs. Absolutely amazing. I am buzzing for that. Absolutely buzzing. Um, yeah. I'm gutted because the fishing now has just started turning up by the looks of it. It's it's well into the ebb, but my parking runs out in 10 minutes. Um, and I've got to get on and do some work, basically. I've got to go and pick up some bits that I said I'd pick up and I've got to be there at a certain time. So it's one of them it's one of them things. It's one of them uh, one of them crappy things that you've been here all day. If I'd have known, I'd have gone and done all that first and then come fishing this afternoon. But I know for next time. Um, which ain't going to be for a few more days, I don't think. Oh, planning, hopefully, to maybe get out and have a carp session with Nath at the weekend, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I, I'm, now, I'm now putting my rod away. Steve and Regan have still got rods out, but I, uh, I think we'll call it there. But massive, massive thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, please, please, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny. really helps me out. Um, leave a comment if you can. Leave a like, even if it's a, even if it's an horrible comment, leave it because it helps me out. Um, uh, yeah, leave a like, share the video, do what you can, help me out. I'm going to get right on this this year, as much as I possibly can. Um, lo Local-ish, Brighton's not local to me, obviously, but it's not that far. It's only an hour and ten minutes. Um, it can be done in an hour at a certain time of day. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.